All right, so I'm in Rotterdam, and guess what I found? Like, look, let me show you this, look. You see that building right there? The one that looks like a slide? Pimpin', that's the Jackie Chan building right there. That's what he did, that famous stunt, sliding down the building, like. That's that building. Rotterdam again because I was actually going to a store to return something and I decided to film here and I was gonna shoot the whole video here but like not for nothing it is like really freaking cold like don't get me wrong it's sunny but it's like extremely cold I mean don't get me wrong I'm a boss and everything but, like, I just felt like it would be better if I did the video back at home. So, much, oh, there we go. <laughs> much better. Holy cow, it was cold in Rotterdam. Like, I know it was early in the morning and everything, but it was cold. And now we can go ahead and get into the video because I can actually feel my fingers and I can think. Hey, yo, but don't get it twisted. I'm still a thug. You know I be hugging the blocks. I don't mind cold weather. It's just that if I'm filming, it's either risk losing a pinky while holding my camera or coming back home and being able to make videos. And I don't know about you, but I, I like my pinky. That I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But anyway, anyway, one of the questions I get asked a lot is what kind of accessories I use for my GoPro, my GoPro Hero 10 drip. Like what do I, what does Sky Money do? Well, glad you asked Pimpin and how with the GoPro, there are a bunch of accessories that you can get, but I'm gonna be real, you don't need like half of them. So I'm gonna just keep it real and I'm gonna tell you the ones that you do need and then everything else is just a side piece. Like you can have it or you cannot have it. Like you ain't gonna die if you don't get these things. The first piece of drip that I use for my GoPro Hero 10 has to be the GoPro Enduro battery. For real, this is boss and is a must have, especially if you are in an environment where it gets pretty cold. Like, I don't know exactly how long it lasts, but it lasts a long time. Whereas usually most batteries like in like almost every camera tend to die a lot faster in the cold weather. But nope, not this baby. So if you're like me and you're out doing a bunch of recording and you got like 40 batteries on deck, save yourself some time and just get the Enduro battery because it will last a very long time. Now I only carry like three batteries instead of like 40. Like all jokes aside, the Enduro battery is pretty boss. And also quick side note, I also ordered like two more of them just to, you know, just, just to be on the safe side, pimp, just to be on the safe side. And now you guys already know how I feel about magnets. It's the reason I like the Insta360 GO 2 so much, as well as the reason I love the DJI Action 2. Like the magnet game is strong. Which brings me to my next must have accessory, these magnetic mounts by Snap Mount. Like, look, look at this, look at this. Like, you, oh, that's magnet game. Like for real, I love these mounts. Like, I, I love magnets, man. Like you, like who don't like magnets? Like for real, in one of my videos, I even said that every camera should have some kind of magnet game going on. And Snap Mount was boss enough to bring it to the GoPro. And look, just to be real, the reason I love magnets so much is because you can actually just put the camera anywhere, like for real. But what stands these snap mount mounts apart from like the DJI Action 2 and the Insta360 GO 2 is the simple fact that they give you multiple pieces so that, so that you can actually put one side on the back of something and the other side on the front and that way you can connect them together. Just in case you don't have metal around but you wanna mount it somewhere. And then along with that, they also come with a magnetic pendant. Now, GoPro is a bit like fat and chunky but for the most part, you don't need a chest mount if you use this. I'm gonna be pimp, pimp. I am being real, you just don't need a chest mount. And the magnets are like strong. And now the next must have accessory is something that I actually put in my gear of the year video and that is the Matri power bank handle. Like guys, I've had this thing for three years now and it is still amazing. Like it is just so good. You can use it with GoPros, you can use it with your pocket cameras, you can even use it with the Sony a7S III. And it is just so good. Like it, it's literally just like a power bank handle that you can use for like any camera. It takes USB type C, so it is up to like new tech drip date. Not, and like not for nothing, it really is one of the best accessories I have, not only just for the GoPro, but for like every camera I own. Like it even has a quarter inch thread at the bottom of it. It is that good. And it's, it's just such a great solution for like if your camera dies and you still wanna be on the go and recording. 
So yeah, those are my must have accessories for the GoPro Hero 10. And now there are other accessories that I use, but again, they're just more like side pieces. One of them being an extendable selfie stick, a mouth mount for a boss POV shots, Thank you Falcon GoPro gimbal, which I actually use quite a bit every now and then when I want to get some nice b-roll like moving shots like gliding shots I know the GoPro does have great stabilization but but again you get better quality when you turn the stabilization off so sometimes occasionally I will throw in a gimbal and then lastly I would have to say this side Ulanzi door I love this door because it has a hot shoe as well as a quarter inch thread on it and then an opening so that you can charge the camera without opening the door for me I use this thing just because it saves me a bunch of time like for real I don't have to constantly leave the door open to charge it and if I want to charge it on the go I just plug it in and I'm good like pimp I am good oh and wait hold up pimp and wait a second I almost forgot one of the most important pieces of accessories that is a must have I don't care what nobody say and that is a screen protector for your screens like guys I cannot stress this enough if you didn't see that video where I did the GoPro Hero 10 versus the DJI Action 2 and my last the last shot pampered the last shot the GoPro Hero 10 fell waist high and shattered the screen in the back pimping get screen protectors it is important and they are stupid cheap like that is a must have for your GoPro Hero 10 and all your other cameras I got a screen protector for the Sony A7S 3 I got a screen protector for the DJI Action 2 I got them for my phones like pimp get screen protectors I'm not look I'm not gonna tell you I will pull up drop the Addy and I'll pull up if you not getting a screen protector don't make me come over there but for real just get screen protectors like they're stupid cheap so why not get them not for nothing I would throw in like the, some some mics and audio adapters but the GoPro Hero 10 has like pretty decent mics and audio plus the audio adapter for the GoPros are stupidly expensive and I just think that is the dumbest thing like you should not be spending 70 bucks on the audio adapter as well as the media mod the media man, get that out of my face like you don't need that like no and pimping if I'm honest and you're trying to get like a media mod and all this other stuff you might as well just get like the Sony ZV-1, like for real. Like you're gonna get much better video quality out of it and now you may not be able to like take it out in the rain and like do all this like amazing like action-y stuff with it. But if you're just vlogging, yeah, you, you gotta be careful because all these accessories just add up, like for real. And the GoPro Hero 10 is an amazing camera. So yeah, you don't, yeah, don't waste, especially do not waste money on that media mod and that audio. Just don't eat pimping. Trust me, you don't need it. Now, that magnet game though, like pimp for real. Get on that magnet game. <laughs> like for real, if I had to choose like just two things that I had to get, it would be probably the magnet mounts and, no, let's say three. <laughs> it would be the magnet mounts, the battery, and the battery pack. That, that's about it. Everything else is just extra, like for real. <laughs> Oh man, it is much warmer than it was earlier. Like it was like freezing earlier, <laughs> but that was in Rotterdam. So yeah, and I think it's been a couple of hours. So it feels pretty nice out. Just extremely foggy though, like for real. But yeah, that is it, man. Like, what do you guys think? Do you have, first of all, do you have a GoPro? And if so, what accessories do you use? What are your favorite like boss accessories like that you have to have? Like them comments up below, letting me know. But yeah, that's it. I'm out. I'm about to go put my GoPro in places it shouldn't be with these magnet mounts. <laughs> Do your usual like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>your gopro in and then watch it charging and for some reason it just stops charging but it's on for some and like really hot does that ever happen to you guys like it keeps happening to me and i don't know what to do like gopro if you could hit me up let me know what to do i'd appreciate it pimp